The next interface I'm going to get into is the SolidWorks add-in. So this is a reasonably important one right here for anybody who's doing CAD work, which with PDM, it could be quite a lot of you. Um, in the CAD software, the PDM acts as a tab on the right-hand side, and it's just turned on through the add-ins menu. So you would simply check the box on the left for your current session, on the right for every session, so every time the software starts up. Now, opening files through here, it's no different to um, any other when you're opening files without PDM. You, so you could go to File Open. Um, if you're not logged into PDM, it will require you to do so. And you could simply select files from here and just choose Open. It will prompt you for checkout if you don't have the file checked out. You don't have to. It'll open read only. You can make modifications to the file without affecting things on the server. And then if you do decide you want to make those modifications permanent, you can come back and check it out at any time. On the right hand side of your interface in the task pane, you have interaction with the PDM system through these icons at the top. So version access is through this drop down here. The latest version is the first icon. Check in, check out, where used, state changes, data cards, jump to the file in Explorer. All of those tools are available. And then, as I mentioned earlier, the search tools are also available here as well. And then finally, the Microsoft add-in. This is available in PDM Professional. The Microsoft add-in is, when installed, is a, a tab at the top of your interface. And same capabilities. You have check-in, check-out, version access, data card access, as well as the ability to move files through the workflow state and search the PDM vault.